What's going on guys? So in front of me, you are looking at something pretty dang extraordinary. And it's extraordinary because of the capability that it's gonna give you as an RVer or as a homeowner whenever you are looking for power, especially if you're off grid. I think you're gonna enjoy this video. Hang tight, I'll be right back. Okay, so first, Let's talk about what you're looking at in front of you. So this is the AC200 Max from Blue Yeti. And this right here is the B230 Portable Power Station Auxiliary Battery, which connects to the AC200 Max, which essentially expands its capacity. So this is really, really cool. And I think a lot of RVers are gonna be really excited when they see something like this because it truly is gonna give you a, almost like a plug and play full power system for your RV whenever you're off grid or whenever you just don't have power to connect to. And the reason why this is so extraordinary is mainly because of the capacity that you have as well as the simplicity of hooking your RV up to it because something that's super unique this has a 30 amp rv connector built into it you heard me right so if you have an rv with an ac on it if you have an rv that just simply uses a 30 amp connector you can connect directly to this and when you pair the two of these together you have an extraordinary amount of power on demand so as an individual unit, the AC200 Max has 2,048 watt hours worth of power, but the auxiliary battery by itself also provides 2,048 watt hours worth of power. When you combine the two together, you actually get a combined 4,096 watt hours of combined power between the two utilizing this connection cable. And what's super cool about this is you can actually pair two of these to one of these, which means you're gonna have a total of 6,144 watt hours of on-demand power available to your RV or whatever else you need power to supply. That in itself is gonna give you the capacity and the capability that a lot of these just won't provide you. There are a lot of companies that make small portable batteries and they work pretty well for what they're intended for. And that's for charging your phones, letting you use your TV maybe, keeping a small refrigerator running, perhaps using your iPad or your computer, doing some work from your RV. But anytime you're using appliances that draw a lot more power, you really can't use those because they just simply don't provide you enough power to get those things running and running for a longer period of time. Time. So real quick, let's talk about the output power over here because this is really where people are going to want to know what this thing is capable of. So it's 2,000 watts of power across your 110 outlets and also 2,200 watts of power across your 30 amp connector. Now, the cool thing about this is that it actually can support up to 4,800 watts worth of surge, which means that this is very likely gonna be able to support most of your air conditioning units in an RV, typically one AC unit. I don't think you'd be able to start two of them, but later on, we'll definitely test that out and see what we're actually capable of starting with this unit. That said though, that is a tremendous amount of power, especially considering the fact that they give you that 30 amp RV connector already built into the side of it. You also have two USB-A connectors here and two more USB-A connectors here. So these are gonna be three amps and these are gonna be 18 watts each. You have a USB-C connector here up to 100 watts. You have a 12 volt connector right here up to 10 amps. And then you have a 12 volt 30 amp connector right here. And they actually give you the harnesses you need to be able to utilize these 30 amp connectors. And then you have a standard cigarette style plug adapter on here as well, which supports up to 10 amps. On the side over here, you have your battery extension ports. You have two of them. And you can see that they support 51.2 volts DC. You have your input power right here, which is basically your charger. And your charger is right here. And then over here, you also have DC input, and this is between 10 and 145 volts at 15 amps. So you simply unplug this. And this is how you can also charge it from, say, your vehicle if you want, through the cigarette lighter adapter on your vehicle, or from another 12 volt source, which is really nice. Over here on the expansion, you have your power adapter right here, which again connects to this. You also have your battery extension, which is this cable, and this allows this to pair to two of these. You have a 12 volt cigarette lighter style plug here, as well as USB-C connection up to 100 watts and USB-A connection up to 18 watts. And these are the only connections on here. So you don't have any additional AC connections like you have over here on the main unit. And you get four AC connections over here, as well as 
your 30 amp AC connection. So again, really, really cool setup. They both have really nice power buttons to turn them on. This one has a battery meter right here. And this one has a battery meter that's actually displayed on the screen. And you can see, well, maybe you can see, it's at 100%. Right now the glare is making it a little bit difficult. It is touch screen, so you can go through all your settings. You have the capability of controlling this through your smartphone and seeing all the data coming through your smartphone app as well, which is pretty dang phenomenal. On top of it, you have two wireless charging ports, both 15 watts, which is really nice. So you can charge your smartphones, things like that on top of the device, plus the handles. And they are relatively heavy, so the handles definitely come in handy. This unit right here, the AC200 Max, weighs a little over 60 pounds, and this unit right here probably weighs about 50 pounds. So again, very, very heavy, and you definitely are going to appreciate having the handles to be able to move these things around whenever you do need to move them around. These can work independently of each other as well. So you can power this one on individually. And again, you can use this for 12 volt. You can use it for USB. Um, and then you can also charge it here as well. But the real magic behind it is when you put the two together and you get over 4,000 watt hours worth of power. Okay, so let's connect them both together and show you how this works. So you get this cool cable. It has the little plugs here on the end to cover them up. And then you simply flip up one of your expansion covers here plug it in, it'll lock into place once you do that. And then I can go like that to lock it. And then on this one over here, just flip that port up, and I can also feed this one in. And then I can lock that one into place as well, just so they don't accidentally pull out. So now I have them both connected. You can see this one's at 100%, and this one's also at 100%. So I can go back to my main screen. You might be able to see that there, 100%. I can go to my settings. I can see how much power is coming into the unit, how much power is going out of the unit. You have the ability to change the language, to change the frequency. You can also go into it and clear any alarms that may have gone off. So if you overload it for whatever reason, you need to reset it, you can clear the alarms from the touch screen as well. So now we have them both connected. This is essentially what the setup looks like. If you're charging it, you can simply charge it from this one AC connector. It plugs in right here. Once it charges this unit, it'll actually start charging the next unit. Then it charges them both together at the same time. So it does a really good job of just allowing you to plug it into one unit to charge the entire setup as one combined unit versus individually having to charge them but you can individually charge them if you want so if you have this in a different location than this for some reason and you have access to this and you want to get this one topped off you can do that using the same ac adapter that comes with this specific setup but yeah very very cool setup i guess the next thing we want to do is let's download the app and take a look at some of the data you can see from there okay so i have the app downloaded okay so i have the ac 200m right there and i should be able to see everything going on with it right now 100%. I can turn on DC power. I can turn on AC power if I'd like. So I've turned on AC power to the device. I can turn it off. I can look at battery pack. Information, it shows that pack 1 is at 100%. Pack 2 is 100%, and I can add if I'd like as well. Okay. This is really, really cool. So again, you can see all the information directly from your smartphone, which really, really makes this nice because if you have this set up in maybe a basement storage of your RV or a rear hatch and you don't have direct access to the screen, you can specifically see how much power is being pulled from the unit or being put into the unit depending on how you're charging it. If you're filling up with solar or if you're charging it you know, with your AC supply or if you're charging it from maybe your vehicle, you can see what's going on there. And you can also, again, see how much power is coming out of the unit as you're using it. Okay, so the first test we're going to do is going to be kind of interesting because it's it's kind of a practical test for folks with toy haulers and RVs that haul around golf carts. So we have our power supply and we have our golf cart right there. And our golf cart is now connected to the power supply. And I'm going to plug the power supply into the AC200 Max paired with the expansion battery. And I'm going to see if it will power. First, let me turn the AC off. And we're going to see if this can power and recharge the actual golf cart. We'll also be able to see all the numbers in terms of how much power is actually going out. So let me turn this on real quick. Okay. I heard that kick on. 
So we are now providing 445 watts of power to the golf cart, which is not an insignificant amount of power. And we're charging it off of the Blue Yeti. So that's pretty cool. I'm able to charge my golf cart off of my Blue Yeti um, and I got a ton of capacity. You can see it dropped this down to 99. And what we can probably do is go to the battery pack and also see what's happening with the second battery pack. So the battery pack two is at 99, pack one is at 100. This one right here, if we clear out 99% there, and yeah, we're charging the golf cart. That is pretty dang cool. Over 400 watts of power going into the golf cart right now through this huge transformer. Very cool. So here's something you may not have seen in a while, the BTBRV cargo trailer. So we have it back here and inside you may or may not remember that we actually installed a 14,000 BTU Furion air conditioning unit in here. You can see it up top there. And uh, you know, I've tried several power stations to see if they had the power to get that thing up and running. And unfortunately I haven't encountered one yet, but you know, I haven't had a power station that's had a 30 amp connection on it with 2200 watts and up to like 4600, 4800 watts worth of surge. So it's gonna be really interesting to see if this can turn on that air conditioning unit. Okay, so I have the Blue Yeti app opened up right now. You can see what my battery packs look like. This one should pop up. Okay, both at 98%. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on AC power. When we do that, this cord right here, which is 30 amp, that goes to a 20 amp plug, should be feeding the RV with power. Let's see if we can turn on the AC. Fans kicked on. Okay, we're blowing some air out. Okay, so I have my phone here and it's showing that I have 64 watts AC power going to it right now. Let's see what happens when I put this thing on cool. Okay, so we have, was not able to turn it on. Okay, so the next test we're gonna perform is an air conditioner. And this is a 6,000 BTU portable air conditioner by LG. Uh, we are going to plug it directly into an extension cord. And we may be able to plug it in directly. I may not need an extension cord, but let me see. I had an extension cord, so I figured I'd use it. Yep, looks like it'll plug right in. There we go. I'm gonna turn this on and I'm gonna put it on, let's change it to fan mode. We're gonna see what kind of draw there is in fan mode. Looks like about 180 watts being drawn in fan mode. Let me set that right there, and then we will kick on the AC. Okay, so the AC just kicked on. It's drawing 591 watts from the system currently. You can see here, 97%, 600 watts. And this is gonna be equivalent to a small AC inside of an RV. Uh, the AC that I have in my cargo trailer is a very large AC. It's actually almost 15,000 BTU. And yeah, nothing I really uh, nothing I really try to power it up with aside from a generator is it really able to get it running. And it has to be a pretty large generator too. I've tried 2000 watt inverter generators and believe it or not, it actually stalls them out. So. This, uh, this unit right here has limitations, and of course, depending on you know, how big you go, you're gonna, you're gonna experience some of those limitations. That said though, it's a incredibly capable unit. Again, we're pulling 712 watts right now, 96% on the batteries, and it's, it's holding. So if you have a smaller AC, you should be able to run it no problem, even if you have all the way up to probably like a 12,500 BTU unit. Um, we're gonna do some more testing with this. We actually have a really special project coming up where this is gonna be a critical component to that project. So it's gonna be really cool to implement this in a way that I think many of you all would probably implement this in a way that you all would buy this specifically for. So 
once that project kicks off and I can tell you more about it, uh, I think you're going to like it. So this is going to be really cool, especially because it has a 30 amp connection on it. I can plug an RV directly into this thing and I can get power to it, you know, just like I were plugged in at a campsite. Just understanding what my limitations are. Again, 2,200 watts. You know, if I exceed that, then, you know, I can surge past that quite a bit. But if I exceed that on a regular basis, it will shut off on me. But that's enough to power just about everything in a small RV. Your refrigerator, especially if it's 12 volt refrigerator, uh, you'll be able to power your TV. You'll probably be able to power any other electronics you have in there as well. The only big limitation you're probably gonna have is really gonna be your AC unit and how long you can run that AC before you deplete both of the battery packs. That said though, super, super cool product. Big shout out to the folks over at Blue Yeti providing this to me. This has actually been something I've been waiting on for a long time. You can see we're at 882 watts for this AC. It's outside, 94 degrees, so it's working really hard right now. And uh, air coming out of it is definitely nice, cool air. And the cool thing about this is you can expand it again up to 6,144 watt hours of power with two of these top expansion packs or up to 8,192 watt hours of power if you get two of the larger versions of this expansion. You can get 900 watts of solar input going into this thing as well, which is super, super cool. Plus, if you charge this thing with solar and AC, you can get up to 1,400 watts feeding into this thing, which would make this thing charge incredibly fast. But this thing is absolutely cool. Um, I think this is a game-changing product for the RV industry, especially those of you who want to buy a system that's complete, that's going to give you pretty much everything you need to be able to provide your RV with off-grid power. Just, as always, understanding the limitation, because every power system you put on an RV or on any trailer is going to have its limitations. And understanding those limitations will keep you out of situations where you might draw too much power thinking that you have enough. But if you bring the solar with you, you can uh, generate power through solar, fill this thing back up, and have a really cool off-grid solution. Anyways, guys, sure hope you enjoyed this video. We're going to have other videos with this featured in really cool environments on a really cool application I can't talk about yet, but you guys will find out about it really soon. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up. This thing's running the AC without any problem at all. We'll talk to you again very soon.